Let's talk about the advanced filtering feature in XMind. Now this is only available in XMind Plus, XMind Pro, and XMind subscriptions, and it's part of the Creative Toolbox. What it does, the filtering, is it's a really fast way to highlight anything that you've used a marker for or a label. Now, to give you an idea of what these are, a marker is exactly what this is here. This is a marker, and I'll show you a few of the other markers we can do. So I'll go into Insert, Markers, and you can show there's different priority ones, there's different little smiley face ones, there's all sorts of different markers, uh, even task progress. So you can see which ones are all the way done or which ones are only partly done. You can start looking for some of those different markers. You can look for different flags, there's all different sorts of things. The labels are these things, this yellow little thing here that says 79. And the easiest way to put a label on anything is to hit the F3 button. And I can put it in here, label, we'll call it label, to just give you an idea. So you can see there's a label you can easily add to things. When we go into advanced filtering, we'll be able to filter things based on either the markers or labels. It's a really easy way to find something that you've marked. So in, when you're going through and you're saying, this is important, this, this should be here, I'll label this with this, then when you go back into advanced filtering, you can find things really easily. I'll show you fast and it's gonna make things very, very clear about what it can do. It's a great feature. There are two ways to use it and I'm gonna show you both ways. So go into View, Advanced Filter, and it's going to call up our filter box on the side. You can see there's a Markers section and there's also a Label section. So it's going to do exactly what you think it's going to do. It's going to highlight these things. We're going to click on the Priority 1 items. Boom. It darkens the screen and it highlights only what we're after. Only things that have a label as the number one, the Priority 1 items. I can take that off and I can do the exact same thing with Labels. So I'll highlight anything that has a $79 label on it, which is what the price of XMind Plus is. So you can see only that section is highlighted. The highlighting isn't quite as pronounced because it's got the blue background. I'll show you the one with the label. And there you go. It's a really neat feature. It's a great way if you have a large map of letting you zoom out and clicking on a couple of things and saying, okay, what do we need to do next? What's the next priority? What, what's here? What's here? And you can see a lot of things at a quick glance, so you can focus in and make sure things are getting done in the, either the appropriate time or whatever priority needs to get done. You're focusing on that appropriate priority level. I'm going to back out of this quick. I'm just going to close this. I'm going to show you the other way to get into it as well. And it's at, down through the bottom. If you click on this button, and it gives me the option of, of choosing the marker style. So if you want to get into the markers, we can highlight the markers based on this. You can continue to do work and it's going to stay on. The highlighting will stay on as long as you have it down here below. So you can go, we can go back and we can turn it off. And there we go. Or we can turn it back on. Something I want to let you know about beforehand so you're not coming to me saying, Gavin, you didn't tell me, is that this is a very important. Anything that has a, is it collapsed will not show. What I mean by, a colla mean by collapsed is simply this. You can see that everywhere we have more information, there's a, either a minus sign or there's a plus sign, depending on whether it's open or whether it's closed. I'm going to go ahead and collapse these two things. Boom. And just got collapsed down. If I had that highlighted, it would not show. Let me give you another example. I'm going to go back in. We're going to turn on all the priority items, priority one items to highlight them. I have additional priority one items highlighted in this map, but they're not showing right now. Simple way to go in is I know they're all in Creative Toolbox. In order to see all the other priority one items that I have in Creative Toolbox and below, I've got to open up everything. So it's actually a little bit of a two-step process. I want to show you this because this is actually important if you plan on using advanced filtering. It's not a big deal. As long as you know about it, you can work with it. So in order to open things below Creative Toolbox, I use one of the commands that I just know. I'm going to highlight Creative Toolbox so that that knows that I know everything below it will do what I say and I'm going to hit the multiplication button, the star symbol. That's going to open everything up. Now you can see I've got this highlighted, but I also have some other priority one items that didn't get highlighted in the advanced filtering because I didn't filter it. It has to be open at the time you do the filtering. It's not a big deal. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit to show you what, what's going to happen when we get this in action. Put that up a little bit. Where's my other one that I had? The 60. There we go. There's a couple more. I'm going to go back and hit the filter one more time. So I'm going to go back and hit the priority one filter. Boom. Now they're all on there. So that's the way it has to be. It has to be open, then filter. If the filter's running and you start opening and closing things, the filter won't change. To turn it off, we simply go back, click it one more time. I'm going to zoom back in. 
and there we go. Advanced filtering is a neat feature. You just have to make sure you're using it properly and it can actually help you be really productive. If you found this video useful, get the cheat sheet. It's an XMind workbook filled with tutorials, videos, and links, and all sorts of cool stuff. Imagine that, using XMind to help you use XMind. You can get it by following the link below. All I ask in exchange is that you give my newsletter a chance. Thanks for watching.